everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. I hope you're having a great week. What we're going to be doing today is a little bit simple. We're going to be just starting off with our basic primary colors. So red, yellow, and blue. That's it. You can do it with crayons, colored pencils, markers, or paint, or really anything that has the primary colors. I'll be showing you uh, all of those sample ideas and you can play with it. We're just going to be doing circles of each color and we're going to be overlapping them. So let's get started. So to get started all you need is your primary colors of any medium. Medium is the supply that you're using. So I have markers, crayons, color pencils, and paint that I'll be showing you this technique with. So I'm going to start simply with crayon. And the end thing might actually end up looking pretty cool. So that's that's the goal here. So I'm going to be doing my yellow first. And I'm just going to be drawing a circle. Now, if you're doing this, you know, whoever is doing this, you can choose. Do you want to do a circle? Do you want to do a triangle? I'm doing a circle because I'm thinking about the color wheel. And these things are going to be overlapping. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do a circle and I'm going to do it, you know, I'm going to be able to do rows. So I'm going to do it a few times. And how you want to arrange your shapes, that's up to you. But do make sure, you see how there's white showing? Don't have white showing because then it won't work as well. So you really want to cake that supply on your paper. So I have my yellows down and it doesn't matter what color, what supplies you're using, it's gonna end up looking the same. So now I'm gonna use my red and I'm gonna overlap it slightly. So I'm gonna draw my circle first. So I know this part is overlapping here. So you can see the red on the yellow is making what color guys? I hope you guys all just said orange, very good. And if you want to be super neat, you could trace out your circles. I'm going to do it here again because the repetition is what helps, guys. So if you're doing this with somebody younger who maybe doesn't remember what the colors make, if you do it more than once, it's going to help them to remember it. So don't just do this one circle, one circle, one circle and be done. Do it a few times. Do it in different supplies like I'm doing. So again, Yellow and red make orange. Very good. And now I have my last color. And you might have guessed we're going to be overlapping all three. So here and here, it's only going to be yellow and orange, or red, yellow and blue. Here and here, it'll be the red and the blue. And then here, it'll have a section of all of them. So there we go. I drew it out first just so I made sure. I know when the blue goes on top of the yellow, it's making what color guys? It's making green. And when my blue is going on top of the red, it's making purple. And when all three right here in that center get mixed together, depending, this is a little bit trickier. It's actually making technical term, middle gray. However, with the colors we're using, it's probably gonna look more like brown because our pigments aren't super pure. So it's making either middle gray or brown. I normally tell my students when you mix all primary colors together, it makes brown because with our supplies, that's pretty much what it looks like. Right now, it kind of does look a little more gray than brown, but depends. And here's my last one. And then we'll go ahead and we will try another medium to show you what that looks like. Next, we're going to be doing our markers and it's going to be the same thing. We're going to, it doesn't matter what color you do first, we're going to be doing rows of all the different supplies. So a few things to point out. The markers, if they were wet, I feel like didn't mix as well like from my red, my yellow to my red. 
I don't see much of a difference there, but I do see a big difference between my yellow and my blue. And it's going to depend on the brand you have. Everything is going to matter. The crayons did a pretty solid job. The color pencils, I think, did the best, but I was a little sloppy. I'll tell my students all the time, like, correct me if I am not taking my time. I did not take my time with the color pencils. And then something to note about the paint. Even though, like, I can tell a difference when they're on top of each other, you can tell my paint is getting dirty. I really should clean it. I should look at my water cup. This is ridiculous. I should clean my water cup. I need to clean my paint brushes. So now I have muddy colors because of that. But you still kind of see what's happening. The colors are mixing and it's turning into an interesting piece of art. Now, if you did different shapes, whatever, you can play with it. Just the primary colors. So I hope you had fun today playing with your primary colors, seeing how they could mix together just three simple tools and all the things you can come up with. So I hope you had a good time with us today. Hope you learned something. And as always, please, if you like the video, hit that like button. It's so that way I can know that you enjoyed it. Subscribe so you get notified every day and pass it along to a friend. Comment, tell me what you want to hear, what you want to see me teach about next, okay guys? So I hope you're staying well and healthy during this quarantine and hope to see you tomorrow for Hour with Miss Chote. Bye!